The third victim, who in a horrific accident in southwest Victoria, was identified as 17-year-old Lucas Garzoli. Lucas' Facebook account was filled with pictures of convertibles, describing himself as a driving enthusiast, along with his hobbies of playing video games and going to the gym. You only live once, so make it a good life, she wrote on her Facebook post. The revelation came Monday after tributes for the other two victims, who were previously named, began appearing online. The fourth person who in the crash in Bachara, 300 kilometers west of Melbourne, is not yet known, but is believed to be a young girl. The 17-year-old girl who survived the accident was taken to the hospital with severe injuries to her upper body. Some of the youths involved are believed to be students at Bainbridge College in nearby Hamilton, a town of around 10,000 people. As the community mourns the passing of 17-year-old Lucas Garzoli, tributes have been posted online. One of the two young men killed in the accident, beautiful Lucas, described himself as a driving enthusiast. Remembered as a beautiful boy, Lucas' loved ones took Facebook to pay their respects the young man. Lucas was a beautiful boy, we will always cherish the moments we spent with him, wrote one person. Lynn Lucas mourns the passing of her great-granddaughter. I'm going to miss that beautiful face of yours, she said. The other young boy killed in the collision was identified as 17-year-old Joshua Elms, previously believed to be an army cadet like Lucas. Joshua's father, Matthew Elms, confirmed the news on social media on Sunday, announcing he was holding a post from his son. I tried to be a good father to you, Josh, she said. His classmate and 17-year-old Joshua Elms were also killed in the collision. Joshua's father said he felt like he had failed his son. The 31-year-old mother, Alicia Montebello, was named as another victim in the crash. Ms. Montebello was referred to by her brother Jared as a beautiful sister taken too early. You will forever be in our hearts and a part of my daughter's lives, she said on Facebook. You are so loved. Alicia Montebello was one of four people killed in the accident. She was remembered as a beautiful person who was taken away too soon. Police believe the vehicle was traveling at extraordinarily high speed on a narrow road Saturday morning, after which the driver lost control and crashed into a tree. The accident was so severe that while police were unable to determine how many of those involved were wearing seat belts, S of sweet notes scribbled inside the car surfaced. Drive safe, someone said. Love people, help people read another. Intimate notes written inside the vehicle were found. Police said the car was traveling at extraordinarily high speed before hitting a tree. We are still ascending through a range of complexity and definition. We hope the 17-year-old will get over it, and we hope to open things up with him when the